We have updated our portfolio calculator through February the 4th, Friday, first week, not complete week in February. We are mainly just focused on stock index portfolio 40, uh, which you could also which you trade with the E-minis or micros, micro NQ20, which can be traded with the E-minis or micros. And I'm going to look at the revised version of this spreadsheet. Um, going only back to 2000 and uh, mid-2016 because it's most relevant. Um, I want to show you why I say it's most relevant. We just posted a video about our zigzag indicator. And our zigzag indicator, you can see um, since the pandemic, we have new volatility levels. This market right here is nothing like the market prior to mid-2016. This market in 2020 forward is nothing like prior to 2020, but it's certainly not like anything prior to mid-2016. You see volatility start to pick up a little bit in 2016, picks up a lot more in 2018, and really ramps up in 2020 as we're at new index levels. And so we could be in an exhaustion point this, based on our zigzag indicator intraday. This could be an exhaustion of reversals during the day. We had that, and then it dropped off, and the market was a little easier to trade. And you see it dropping off here. Looking forward to these levels in the 10s, maybe, if we could drop down to these levels in the 10s. And um, let's look at the uh, portfolio micro NQ20, 3185 drawdown. Going back 10 years, worst case drawdown is 7,000. Going back to mid-2016, worst case drawdown is about 4,000 per micro, 40,000 per E-mini. So you have about a $1,000 risk to worst case drawdown in the micro NQ20, 10,000 per E-mini, and with a potential upside of 3,000 per micro or 31,000 per E-mini. So let's look at the drawdown curve. Let's look at the results here. This is trading one micro. Uh, one E-mini would be 10 times that, 150,000, 410,000, 350,000. And we're trading a portfolio setup that was up in January, and it is up uh, down in February. So, so far down in February, it started going down towards the end of January. And you see the drawdown curve, which is a normal drawdown curve. And we're looking at mid-2016 levels. That would take us back to... This time frame right, let me scroll up on this, here. So from this point forward, there's not more than about a $40,000 drawdown. If, you, if I were to delete the data going back uh, to mid, part of mid-2016, I keep it going back 10 years because I'm looking at this. And I like, you know, I, I favor the NASDAQ, but I favor the 10-year outlook as well a little bit better. So if I'm looking at the stock index portfolio 40, which can be traded with E-minis or micros, 36000 out of a $50,000 worst case drawdown going back 10 years, and 36000 out of about 40000 going back to mid-2016. So we are right there at a good entry level. Um, could be a worst case drawdown. You want to be able to buffer those. And then also use risk management. You have to have a risk management point where you say, okay, I have to stop for now or scale back. We've scaled back a lot. Um, but you could, if you've scaled back or if you haven't started and you're ready to increase, you could increase for that run up back. You see the very cyclical equity curve back here, not as much. It's about a year and a half period underwater. And more forward, closer to this side, our, our strategies are more adjusted to the current volatility and index levels. So it's hard to, hard to think that you want to make sure that your strategy, um, right now works the same works as well as something that, that traded in 2012 13 14 or 15 market traded much differently then so this is why we're looking at you know the last uh since mid 2016 40,000 is the worst case drawdown and then even going back to this time frame of june 2016 which is almost mid 2016 50,000 so if you're trading an e-mini you want to be able to risk 14000 a worst-case drawdown, buffer, wait for a bounce. Um, or if you're trading in micro, another $1,400 per unit, um, and then hold for a bounce. We're at new volatility levels. Like I said, I think we could be exhausted on these volatility levels. We've had an extreme week with Facebook earnings, Amazon earnings, wild swings. Um, you know, this curve right here is much more elevated and seems to have persisted a little longer um, since the takeoff point right here to here 
it seems wider. So it's lasted longer at these higher levels. And so I think we could be exhausted, and I could be wrong. We could maintain these higher volatility levels. So we still have to have risk management in place. And, the you know, the future is unknown. And a lot of times we're trying to pick market direction. But right now we're more focused on we're, – we're not as concerned about market direction as we are um, – price action in this back and forth uh, level in the market. VIX is low, but the back and forth level is very high. So we'll see if the dip buyers can rally it into a smooth trend or if they'll finally get crushed and give up and there'll be a smooth trend to the downside regardless of a higher VIX. So that is the latest of what we're trading, what we scale back to. And let's look at the um, other portfolios as well. So the full version is available for download in the portfolio calculator section. You can get all back to 2008. All these portfolios, a lot of these are at worst case drawdown since we are at new high levels of volatility and all markets are reversing wildly at the same time. And you see in 2022 has just taken off. Uh, volatility has just taken off on an intraday swing basis in a big way. And here it is on the stock index going back um, Multiple years, like I said, this historically is not as relevant as current data, and so we're trading our models within this time frame of the last 10 years for our risk tolerance. And let's look at stock index portfolio 27. That is a thousand away from its worst case drawdown. So this has been one of our strongholds, and we developed this at the end of 2020. And it's held up really well in 2021. We had one systematic change in July of 2021. And that's why you see that date, July 2021. One strategy change related to the custom session. And it still held up really well. Made a worst case drawdown in February of 2021. And it's held. We'll see if it holds in this new volatility level or if it just taps it and bounces or if it struggles down there. So, um Stock index portfolio, 200K portfolio. New worst case drawdown, $50,000 drawdown in this. We got out of this a while back and are trading the micros to mitigate some of the losses. Uh, it's already down 10000 this month. It was down 25000 last month. And here is the drawdown curve. Very sharp downturn. Let's look at the stock indexes, though, in that setup. So if we look at the stock indexes only in these setups... You'll see they're right at worst case drawdowns. Individually, they're not, but together they are. So if I do the E-mini S&P, it won't be at a worst case drawdown. If I do the NASDAQ, it won't be at a worst case drawdown. Cobra 3 is a big strategy in these, and you can see we've just pierced the worst case drawdown. So it could be a bounce point. Stock indexes have been strong, but February has started out incredibly challenging. So um, earnings in absolute exhaustion of the whipsaws um, is one thing we are looking to to potentially turn this around 23887 in the 50k portfolio we've we've uh, backed off to micros in this setup as well as it's been absolutely extreme the whipping in all markets uh, whipping around violently this has been a strong portfolio for a while but um, you know, the commodities, and and now the stock indexes are going to an extreme levels. The micro portfolio aggressive, which has gold in it, is down at a worst-case drawdown. This was last revised in 2020. So this hasn't changed since November of 2020. It's held up all of 2021. It, you see it makes incremental worst-case drawdown and bounce, incremental worst-case drawdown and bounce, new volatility level. We have about the same amount of incremental worst-case drawdown and so it's possible that this could bounce. This has a history of making these incremental worst case drawdowns and bouncing. Even though we've kept it through 2020, we can see this history of how this is performed on the drawdown curve. So it could be a good place to step in here and time these exhaustion levels of these wild swings that we continue to talk about greater than the pandemic right now. And so let's look at the conservative micro portfolio conservative. And you see $2,500 is the drawdown on that. And right here, um, making a worst case drawdown once again on this setup. This setup includes um, 
it includes some of the 200k strategies that we had in the past uh, for crude oil as well. So it's got crude oil strategies, it has NASDAQ strategies. It doesn't have that many NASDAQ strategies, which has been our strength, is NASDAQ. And so we've updated the micro, we have the micro NQ20 portfolio and the stock index portfolio um, that we talked about at the beginning of the video that we recommend instead. And so stock index portfolio, uh, this is on the E-minis, divided by 10. And this one's on the micro, so multiply by 10 for E-minis on this one. And so you can see um, what I like about, what I like most about the, this is the opportunity is we're getting in here. We started down here at this, these levels. We scaled down. We're already in a drawdown, and we've scaled down to these micros, but there's an opportunity for a huge bounce. Just trading two micros in 2020, hypothetically speaking, was up 110 Um up 89k trading two micros in 2021 um, up 4400 dollars if you traded two micros we just developed this by using the 20 strategies in the stock index portfolio 27 or 19 of them adding one and also using the 20 nq strategies in the micro nq 20 so it's a new setup with a lot of existing strategies taking our strong strategies and putting them in this and um, just measuring and monitoring volatility as we go, scaling back further or stop or will stop trading if this type of volatility continues. If it reverses here, we're due for a big snapback in our equity curve. And so that is where we are in our portfolios and in our trading um, for these portfolios. This is a weekend update on February the 5th, 2022. Hey, David Bean here. Welcome to Capstone Trading Systems YouTube page. Be sure to subscribe to join our community of algorithmic traders. We are real money traders. We share our winning streaks, we share our losing streaks, as well as market updates, strategies, and coding tips.